What's going on, y'all? It's the undisputed underground YouTube Twitter can UTX JG the Dime. And I want to do a little setup as far as Halo 4 is concerned. Like a little setup video because this game has definitely changed since Halo 3. There are a lot of different elements that I just want to introduce for the person who has not played Halo before and wants to really get into it but is not sure of themselves. And first of all, before I even get into that, do not, I repeat, do not listen to these commentators that have never played Halo before. They will try their best to act like they know what they're talking about, but they do not. They do not know what they're talking about and they'll try to bash the game. Do not listen to them. Listen to someone who has been playing Halo and is an avid Halo fan. I swear if I knew how to capture Halo 3 gameplay and posting on YouTube. I would have been doing this since 07. I'm really confident in myself. This is probably one of the only franchises that I'm actually serious about. And I don't know why, but I'm actually serious about it. So, And also, what I want to start doing after next week, because this week it's all Halo 4 for me. You won't see any other games. Come next week when Black Ops 2 comes out, I plan on coming up with a schedule. Yes, I know, a schedule for my very first time. Hopefully I can stick to it, but I want to come out with a schedule for switching up Halo 4 and Black Ops 2. That's pretty much all that you will see on my channel for a while besides Hitman. Hitman will be pretty much the only break because there aren't any really other games that I want to play besides Halo 4, Black Ops 2, and Hitman until March or whenever uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 comes out because I'm excited about that as well. But anyways, I do want to come up with a schedule. I'll let you know uh, as the videos roll along this week. So let's get started. All right, so in Halo 4, you do have a loadout system. Now, people would think, oh, yeah, the Call of Duty, blah, blah, blah. But it doesn't matter. One of the things that I hated about Halo 3 was that you had different game modes within, like, the regular team slayer or regular deathmatch mode and you had like regular team slayer which you did not start with the br you did not start with the battle rifle same thing for halo reach you could have regular team slayer and you would start off with an assault rifle and i hated the assault rifle i hated its guts it sucks i always wanted to start off with the br or a dmr but on this one you don't have to worry about that in regular team slayer mode and i'm pretty sure just about every other mode unless it's a special mode you can pick your layout so let's go ahead and go to the layout so these are the two that I set up so far. As you can see, I do not have any others unlocked because I'm not a high enough rank. So as you go up in rank, you get more loadout. So here's my go-to class. Go ahead and start with this. So primary weapon, I have the BR starting off. And how you get other weapons, you either have to get up to a certain level and then you unlock them and then you can buy them because you have points that you get when you do matches so you can use your points to unlock the weapon of your choice once you get to that level so i do have the br unlocked as you can see assault rifles already unlocked dmr i unlocked the covenant carbine i unlocked and the storm rifle i have available but i have not unlocked yet i might try it out we'll see so there you go you have that secondary weapon of course you have Regular Magnum, Plasma Pistol, and the Bow Shot, which is a new weapon. Grenades. You have Frag Grenades, Plasma Grenades, Pulse Grenades. I have Frags on right now. I might, I might buy Plasmas later. Armor Abilities. Now, this is one thing that regular Halo veterans will be like, Well, I don't really like that, and I didn't really like that in Reach, and I didn't either, because the Armor Lock, for example, was horrible. I absolutely hated that shit. But as far as I know, they took that off, so you don't have that. So yeah, Promethean Vision, uh, which I do have equipped, and it's kind of like if you saw my Blacklight Retribution videos, you can look through walls and stuff and see where enemies are for a certain amount of time. People will say it's OP. I don't think it's OP. So you have that. Uh, you have Thruster Pack, which uh, apparently like allows you to sidestep, like do a quick sidestep. I might try that out because I, I like that from what I saw. And a hologram, jetpacks. A hard light shield, which is something new. Active camouflage, which has already been there. And people are thinking that that's OP2, but it's been there. <laughs> like, come on now. Auto sentries and regeneration fields. So there you go for that. Tactical package. I haven't gotten too far with this yet. But these are like perks, I would say. It's a perk in a sense. So shielding, I just bought recently. So it allows you to recharge your shield and your, and your uh, health. I guess, yeah, your health quicker 
the uh, mobility which is unlimited sprint as you can see resupply so grenades you can actually pick those up so it's like scavenger uh, AA efficiency so of course it says increases the rate of in which your energy recharges for your armor abilities uh, grenadier increases your grenade carrying capacity you can have more grenades and firepower which is like overkill allows you to have two primary weapons I like that I kind of like that I might try it out when I get to that point and then you have support upgrades which is like a second perk so you have dexterity so it's like sleight of hand or slate of hand whichever way you want to say it ammo which is like bandolier on Call of Duty 4 a uh, sensor, so if you have motion sensor on, increases. Well, actually, you already had. You always have motion sensor on, so it increases the range in which you can see people on your radar. Awareness, of course, it says allows the use of motion sensors while using the scope. Explosive. So I keep forgetting. It was at the tip of my tongue. I keep forgetting what that perk is called in Modern Warfare 2, but it's like that. And then you have ordinance priority, so uh, you actually get the the better weapons. Well, frequent actually, you get more drops which is like kill streak but it's not really a kill streak but you get to get a, a certain weapon when you get to a certain point so there you go for that one on my second class i have the carbine because i like the carbine a lot of people don't like the carbine but i love the carbine <laughs> so there you go carbine magnum frags promethean vision uh tactical package i'm not choosing anything but i'll just put mobility on there and for this one uh i'll just do dexterity as well so there you go for that Spartan armor. It's just just a bunch of swag, you know. It's it's purely cosmetic. It doesn't matter, but when to look at it, you know, you can go through that real quick and blah blah blah. I'm not gonna go through this whole thing, but you get the idea. And then Spartan ID, which they've actually slacked on. They don't even have that many, that many actual emblems anymore as they had in the other one. So I don't really care about emblems. It is what it is. So there you go for that. Uh, let me know your thoughts if you have any questions about your little loadout thing and how that works. I'm UJJ, just down, I'm out, y'all. Peace.